to you. What's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? It's me, Raven. What's going on? What's good? How you been? Are you getting it in? So let's get it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> okay. I want to talk to you in reference to... Hmm. Let's just see. The bathroom. <sighs> now, this should be very interesting. Okay. Now, for the girls like me, or the trans, in reference to trans men, means female to male. So it's going to be one of those tongue twisters. Female to male, or male to female, transgenders, bathroom. Okay, let's talk in reference to the first time you had to go into the bathroom that you've never been really going into. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is it. Okay, so this is my thing. What was your experience like when you had to go inside of the woman's room of the girls like me? And if you're a trans man, I want to know what was the difference, what was the experience of you going inside of the man's room? You know, when it's funny because it's like, it's almost like, to me, it was almost like a shaking type of experience because. Be honest with you, my friends pushed me into the girls' room. <laughs> I was like, nah, I want to go in here. No men in here. <laughs> Whoa, I'm a mess. No, but the thing was like, you know, I didn't want to go inside the women's room. But mm, lo and behold, I guess I had to. But um, got close to the women's room and stuff like that. I had to go to the bathroom so bad. But after a few cocktails, honey, I just walked right on in. But then in the first time, you know, I really didn't want to go in there because I was like, oh, my God, people are going to look at me. They're going to know what's up. Da -da 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 -da. My, the thing in my head takes place and it makes things travel way bigger than it is. And it actually don't, you know, be exactly what I be thinking it's going to be. Like, people really are not into you like the way you think they are. Like, people are not really, you're not really that much of a factor like you like to believe that you really are to people, in some cases, but they're not at all, because everything is not really black and white. There are room for colors and shades of gray. Anyway, so what happened was, I had to go to the bathroom. Now, this was going to be my first time. I'm talking about your first time, everyone. I'm talking about your first time, transsexuals. I'm talking about your first time, girls like me. You know, um, what was your first time like when you had to walk through that door? You know, because all your life you've been going to the men's room and stuff like that, you know what's going on, all pit smell and all, this big mess, honey, and ugh. You're like, I got to pee. I'm not. And, mm, you see dude by the toilet, honey. He's still over there. When you come out because you already know what he's doing. He's, he's standing by the bathroom. He's looking over his other guy, you know. You know what I'm saying, girls. In case the women don't know, that's what they do. They stay by the toilet and they, they peek over at the other guy. They go, hey, hey. <laughs> and you know I'm not lying. And then you have the ones who sit inside. You know, okay. We don't got to get too much detail. Anyway, so I want to know, you know, in reference to what was it really like when you walked inside the girls' room. Now, for me, I was like, what's the men's room? And my friend said, no, you will not be going inside the men's room. And I said, honey, I got to pee. And you said, you got to go to the bathroom. The girls' line is always long. I was like, hey, I like both of y'all at the same time. So I can go to this one or this one. They said, baby, you will not go in it. So I was like, and remind you, these are not transsexual. These are actually guys that I was hanging with. And it was like, Raven, you are not going inside the men's room, honey. But it was like, Raven, if you go in there, it's on my beach your ass. But see, my thing is, this is like, it's like a law and stuff like that. You're not supposed to go inside of me, you know, unless you did everything. You know, I, I did everything I needed to do to take care of my paperwork and the government and all that kind of shit. So I did what I needed to do. So I knew which one I was supposed to go into and the one I wasn't supposed to go. But to me, at the end of the day, they don't really want to hire, uh, hire me. I'm just going to finish it. So it's like, oh, I'm about to go inside of that one, the men's room. Even though my paperwork it says, you know, everything's changed. But that's not the point. So, I went inside the woman's room. And I'm walking in and, you know, you know, we do that, that sneaky look and stuff like that. You know, we go, oh, do you kind of go, to go oh, close the door. <laughs> Honey, I... Uh, the men's room is just as pissy as the women's room. I was a little shocked because I thought the women's room would be much more cleaner and tighter. It smelled like pissing one, so I was pissing the other side. But then again, I was only at the train station. But then again, I have went to other bathrooms where it wasn't that bad. But then again, I have went to the bathroom and it was pissy. 
I was so shocked that women pissed on the floor. <laughs> men, okay, I'm not surprised. You know, nasty is nasty. Not all men, you know. There are some of us that's petite. But then there's some of us, you know, just wing it out, honey. And there's, I was surprised to find that the women's bath smell like piss. <laughs> it was not a very eye-opening experience, but I thought this I was very proud of this moment. <laughs> And then I listened to the way the woman uses the bathroom. I mean, I've, I've been around women using the bathroom, but it sounded like a flush of water just throw into the air. And I was like, oh, my God, I don't pee like that. <laughs> it's not a ton of water just thrown into the toilet. But then I gagged, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, my thing is just get in and get out. And that's what I want to do. I want to get in immediately. And I want to be honest with you, I could have left out the back stool because I could just clap out that way. Like, I didn't want to see nobody. But, you know, instead of back of the matter, it's like I went into the women's room and da-da-da, da-da, and <sighs> some, you know, these women just went and washed their hands and stuff like that. They pay me no mind, you know, and I felt very uncomfortable, but, but then again, I, I, I should have tried to go into the business room. I could have met a boyfriend. <laughs> Can you imagine the expression on their faces? Or you girls, do you actually still go into the men's room, you know, once you've done what you needed to do or whatever, you know? Do you actually go in there and, you know, when you're all painted and stuff like that, you go into the men's room? I want to know. Have some of you girls that actually travel over, or you trans men have went into the rooms? Better yet. How about the trans men? You went inside the bathroom and stuff like that. But then again, I know y'all got little things y'all use. Because I know a few. Yes, mother has lived, honey. I know a few of everything. Trust and believe. And I watch you, you know. You do what you do, and you can stand over the stool, and you know you got that thing when you, uh, nah, uh, you know it is what it is, and it's an eye-opening experience and stuff like that for the people who don't know. But I want to know what was your first experience from inside that bathroom? You know, was it that you were like, okay, were you like nervous? Were you scared? Were you like, okay, honey, I paid it no mind. I just went through that, do and just left. And you guys that are straight guys out there, what do you do when you see, or women, when you see someone like us inside the bathroom? Do you gag, or do you go, oh my God, they're everywhere. <laughs> or do you guys look and they go, you know, but then again, you guys probably couldn't be able to tell, but then again, maybe you can't, but then again, maybe you can. Because a lot of times, guys always think they know, but a lot of times they don't know, unless they do the obvious like me. You know, I put my little blonde here because I really don't give a fuck if you know what I am or not. But then there are some girls that are very timid and they really want to blend into the world and they want to be accepted by society and they're doing everything they can as far as even staying away from transsexuals and hanging around a bunch of women so they don't blend out of the crowd. To me, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to be me. I'm going to be me. If I'm a big mess, I'm going to be a bigger mess inside the bathroom, but I'm not going to piss. I'm going to piss on the toilet, not on the side, and I'm going to wipe this hole. Just nasty. <laughs> And I don't flesh in my hands, honey. I put my feet up there and nah, nah, I ain't touching nothing. I'll men or women's room, I think it's nasty. I'm not touching shit. That's the kind of girl I am. I'm not bringing nothing back. Anyway, I just want to know what it felt like when you've done that. Anyway, I'm, that's about as much as I'm going to say, honey. Because the bathroom view is really nasty. It's like an ill type of subject. But I know it does exist. And I know it's a, a, a strange part of our life that we experience and stuff like that. And I wanted to know in reference to how do you deal with it? Like, what are your nerves? Are, are you just paying no mind? Are you just going to it and it's not a big deal? And do you be one of the girls be looking at you? Do people pay you any mind? Or they don't give you eye contact? You know, what is your experience like? You know, I just want to know. I just told you mine. I went inside of there. They paid me no mind. I was not that much of a factor, so they really didn't care what I had to do. They was going to do what they needed to do. And they paid me no mind. You know, whether they knew or they not knew, I don't know. I don't take surveys for those who feel as though, well, do they know? I really don't take surveys. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me for your question. Can you tell what I am? And they'll go, oh, well, what are you? No, I don't do that. It's not that serious. After all, I am there to pit. Then again. Maybe do other things, no, none of that, but then again. But anyway, I want to know your experience, and I want to thank you for watching, and thank you for subscribing, and thank you for watching your crazy ass sister Raven do what I gotta do. And I love your input, and I love to hear what you have to say, and you know, we can agree to disagree, and some things you don't know, some things I don't know. I'm here to teach you, you're here to teach me. Hey, we live, we learn, we grow. We can't get mad at each other when someone disagrees. We also can say, I agree with you, or I, we have to agree to disagree. That means we're going to dissolve the whole thing right there, because I don't want to talk about it, you don't want to talk about it, it's pretty much over. And we'll go to the next subject. Unless you're a person who loves the argument, who loves 
to see, to play the devil's advocate, then of course I'm not going to bother with you. But if you're being real and I'm being real with you, we can talk. You know, it's not a big deal. But if you try to come at me to try to be facetious and real mean to me, I'm just going to block you. You know, because I'm not going to say nothing back. Just say, what, 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 click box. Because that's the kind of girl I am. I'm not going to deal with it. And I'm not running from the issue at hand, but absolutely so. I, I have too much time I do in my time. If I'm trying to educate you on another world that's different than the world that you're used to, open your eyes a little. Get to know something that's something that you may not know. Hell, you could teach me stuff. I don't know. A little kid can teach you anything. We're out to learn. We need to grow. The more we grow to get a better understanding of each other, then maybe we might not see that we're, much, we're not much different than each other as we may think we really are. And we may even end up finding a friend. But it's up to you. You have to have an open mind. I do too. I'm not perfect. I have to open my mind up as well. And um, I want to thank you for watching and subscribing and all your input and stuff like that. Anyway, it is what it is. You do you. You do you the best way you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them.